Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. We'll open up with dua. Welcome to the first Sunday. I'm sorry. Welcome to the first Sunday. We're, we're, uh, we're uh, uh, glad to have everybody with us on, on the first Sunday program. We'll open up as usual with dua, and then we'll go into our program. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahir Rabbil Alameen. Ar Rahmanir Rahim. Maliki Yomidin. Ia can abdu wa ia can estain. Ihdina Surat al Mustaqim. Surat al Ladina and Amta Alehim. I will mog do be Alehim Molag darling. Amen. Again, we'd like to welcome everybody to the first Sunday uh, program. We'd like to thank uh, the President of the Mosque, here, Ministry of Imam W.D. Muhammad, Warf D. Muhammad II, uh, uh, for uh, maintaining the legacy of his father. Uh, uh, the, and with that, um, we have uh, this part of the program. We have Imam Ajim Muhammad. He will take you into the Arabic class, and uh, we'll take it from there. And Imam Ajim Muhammad. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum again. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ahdahu la sharika lah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Uh today we want to <coughs> Uh, continue with our Arabic instructions and uh, we want to it will be somewhat of a review of some of the things in order to show you uh, how to use at least one dictionary uh, the dictionary that I have reference to is one that many of you already have I'm not recommending that you buy it if you don't have it already but it, I'm going to show you the shortcut that it does allow uh, in order to uh, get comprehension Here's what I mean by comprehension, as opposed to rote memory of the language. If you just learn the words just by what somebody else says the word means, then uh, that's rote memory. But if you un understand the word based on its relationship to the word that it derived from, which is called the root word, then you get true comprehension because you will not, not only understand that word, but all the words that come from that root word. And from one root word, we could get a minimum of, say, 60, 60 words, from uh, 59 words from one root word, just based on a chart that we will review, not today, but another time, that showing you the forms, the 10 forms, which there are actually 15 forms, but for study we only use 10. Ten of them. The other five are somewhat uh, uh, obsolete, and they don't you don't find them often. So, it, but if you know that root word and the meaning of that root word, then all of those uh, ten forms and the, the and the other five uh, forms derived from it, uh, as far as uh, changing from past, present, uh, command, and then we have the uh, three forms of the noun, which is uh, uh, the internal noun, the passive noun, uh, and the nominal. So, uh, what we want to do today is just show you how this particular book is called the dictionary, uh, called dictionary of the Holy Quran, dictionary of the Holy Quran. And I'm sure that most of you are familiar with it. Some of you have it. I know it's by. Uh, Abdul Manan Omar. Abdul Manan Omar. Uh, it's a book that came out uh, a few years back. It was first recommended, highly recommended, and then I understand that Imam Muhammad withdrew some of his uh, support for it because it has some shortcomings. But the shortcomings you won't know. <laughs> you won't know the shortcomings until you know quite a bit more about the language. So it's nothing that will trip you up. It's just a few things that are left out. In this dictionary, if you are, you're reading the Quran, and let's just say you come across the word, I'm going to write it on the board, we come across the word uh, Akbar. So I'll write that on the board. Let's see. I guess I will. 
<laughs> oh. There we go. Ack. And this one. Yeah, I need some fresh ink. Let me get another peanut. Should I test the pen? Ack. Bar. It will be Ack Baru. That's what you will find, Ak Baru. Now there's a way of knowing the root word to this without any difficulty once you have, you see what the pattern is. For instance, root words will be found by eliminating prefixes, infixes, and suffixes. This particular word has a prefix. It doesn't have an infix, nor does it have a suffix, but it has a prefix. And you look this word up in this dictionary. The dictionary has uh, three major three major parts to it. Uh, index one. It shows you mostly every word that's in the Holy Quran. It says it has all of the words, but it doesn't. All right, that's one of the shortcomings of it. It says, but it has so many of them until you won't be lost. You won't miss much for a long time. All right, but it has so it will it would have this word listed in the list uh, starting uh, in, in index one, and index one runs. It's the first uh, part of the dictionary, and it it runs. Uh, let me see how many pages in it. Uh, uh, there's about. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I passed. It. I'm looking at B. It has just one second. I should have had that already set up for you. Fifty. I'm sorry. Nine pages. Is that right? No. I, I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. I'm, I'm looking as if I'm looking for section A and it's section B. The a, a index uh, one is, is section B, and it has a hundred and some pages. Let me see how many pages it is. Okay, two hundred. I, I beg your pardon for this, but it has two hundred and eighty-two pages. Two hundred eighty-two pages. Those are the lists of. Uh, words that are in the Quran, and it would have this word, and it does have this word Akbar in it. Then underneath Akbar, you will see written smaller the root word, and it will be this will be heavy, and then this will be underneath, and it'll be Kabara. Now, and then it'll have the page. Let me see which page is Kabara on, so I can give you actual page. Okay, Kabara is on page 19B. That be, so you go to page 19B, and then it will give you the definition of Akbar. But this will, instead of this being at the top, then the root word will be at the top. The root word will be the biggest word. And then all underneath it, it will have all the words, or not all the words, but a whole bunch of words that come from the word cabaret. All right. You do this for a few times, you, you, you're going to begin to see something. That one of the patterns, not the only, but one of the patterns is that when you see a word with a sakun on the second letter, most of the time, that second letter will be the first letter of the root word. Not all of the time, because sometimes uh, other prefixes are sakun, but most of the time, that second letter will be the first letter of the root word. So you get that, and you practice that for a long time, all right? And then you're going to learn how to, to recognize when there are uh, 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 infixes, meaning something between this letter and this letter, or if there's something after the last letter. That's how you get your, 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 uh, your habit of going to the root word. If you don't go to the root word, you are going to miss the full understanding of uh, the uh, the word. For instance, I, I left something. I made a mistake up here. That's the reason why I was hesitating. Let 